What can you say about a sister who stays with you through thick and thin? We stuck together in the good times and the bad times, through the valleys of the orphanage to the mountaintop of success. She was always there to keep me grounded. First major record deal, she was the first one to tell me not to let it go to my head. It's funny how we ignore the people we love when they tell us an inconvenient truth. Don't get into drugs. That's the one thing she asked me not to do. And the first moment I get some time away from her, I just have to try. I haven't seen her for three years. One girl I ever trusted no longer wants to speak to me, and it's all because she found out I broke my one promise. The last time I saw her, I took her out for a surprise birthday party to the top Japanese seafood restaurant that money could buy under the one condition that squid stayed off the table. I hate this stuff. It's disgusting, smells. Anytime I actually see somebody devoured, I get the sudden urge to start hurling. But she's got some weird fascination with it. So all the while, what I think is regular sushi is actually rolled up in disguised octopus. And surprise, surprise, it's octopus that hasn't been prepared properly. She gets sick, and I'm not talking a stomach ache, I'm talking full on, we need to call poison control and have her rush to the hospital before she goes into shock and ends up in a coma. And her big brother can't even be there to help her because he's too afraid of being busted for smack by someone from the ER. She spent two whole weeks in that hospital bed before I finally got up enough courage to come visit her, and that started what would be several missed opportunities to stay close to her. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. I never thought I'd trade her for a needle. Now I'm sitting in a room by myself, the laughing stock of radio stations that no longer play me, and at the bottom of the ladder that I used to climb freely. Nobody wants me. And I'm tired of sitting in this house every single day just waiting for a phone that'll never ring, so... Where do you go when there's nowhere else to run? What do you do when all the doors of opportunity have closed and they're not going to be opening again? What do you do when every single person that you've ever cared about has gone away? Hey John, it's me. I was just calling to check up on you. I know we haven't talked in like a long time. Um, I know things have been really crazy for you lately, and I heard from Teresa that you weren't doing well. So I thought I'd give you a call. Things have been really tough these past couple of years for you, and I know that. But I just wanted to let you know that I'll always love you, and I'm here for you if you need anything at all. And don't have to be scared to call me up. I love you, big bro. I miss you. I'll talk to you later.